So right now I'm going to be doing a video while my class is working. I told them that they're more than willing to ask me for help, and I will ask them for help. So you might see me stop along the way and do one of their problems. But like, how would you go ahead and do this problem, systems of equations by graphing? We have two different scenarios here. These are both in y equals. This one, I have a slope of negative 5 and a y-intercept of 6. Here, I have a slope of 3. So I have a slope that's equal to 3, and I have a y-intercept at negative 2. So all i got to do is apply these and find where the two lines cross. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's very, very easy. So I'm going to start with the top one. All right, the top one in blue, my y-intercept's at a 6. So I just take the dot and put it at a 6. Then I apply the slope. It says it's negative 5. So from here, i got to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 1. This is called a slope of negative 5. It goes down 5 and over 1. If you can't see what I'm doing there, I'll take a screenshot. It goes down 5 units and over 1. It goes down 5 over 1. Oh, hold on. I moved that far. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, that's down 5 over 1. So I know I got that one right. Now the next thing I do is I do this one. So my y-intercept's at negative 2. So I take this little point, I put it at negative 2. But this has a slope of 3. So I got to go up 3 and over 1. So I got to go up 3 units, up 3 units and over 1. You see where the two lines meet? Right there. They meet at a 1 and a 1. So I just type in 1 and a 1. Just like that. And by doing that, I've graphed the two lines correctly. So it says I'm using the interactive graph to graph the solution. There's the solution. And that's it. Okay. Now, if you're not sure how to, how to do all that, what you could do is you could use Desmos. And you could type in y equals negative 5x plus 6. And you see the graph. And then you type in y equals 3x minus 2. And you see the graph. And you clearly see the point. A 1, 1, and a 0, negative 2. So you could use those two points and graph your blue line. You could also use this point and this point and graph your red line. And then all you have to do is literally drag the points correctly where they go and type in your solution. Remember, the solution is where the two lines meet. All right, let's go to the next one. So this is not in y equals form. This is in standard form. But whenever it's in standard form, I don't change it to slope-intercept form. All right, I just find it's x and y intercepts. If, they're, if it's easy, and I just plot those. So we're going to find our x and y intercepts. So we have 2x plus 3y equals 6. And then we have negative 4x plus 3y equals 12. And all my students have in their journals, they have how to find the x-intercept and how to find the y-intercept. It's just the c over the a value and the c over the b value that's never going to change. The x-intercept is c over a, and the y-intercept is c over b. Now, these formulas are good if and only if you know what a, b, and c are equal to. So what is our c value? Our c value is the number 6. What's our a value? 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Boom, I got a 3, 0. Once again, our C value is 6. Our B value is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2, so our y-intercept's at 0, 2. Then I'll go over here to red. Once again, I'll write AX plus BY equals C. Our C value is 12 in both circumstances. Okay. Our A value is negative 4. Our B value is 3, 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So what do I do? I just simply plot these points on the graph. So I have my ordered pairs. By the way, I always do this when I'm writing problems down. I always write down what I have and what I need to find. So I'm going to plot this one and this one first. 3 and a 0. So here we go. 3 and 0. So 3, 0 goes right there. What's the other one I need to plot? 0, 2. 0, 2 goes right here. Um, negative 3, 0. That goes right here. And then 0, 4. That goes right there. So this is the tricky part. i got to figure out which one of these answers is the best 
answer. All right, so if we if we were trying to find, we're trying to find the solution right there. All right, so it looks like right here I'm at a negative one, which puts me on this one or this one, and it looks like I'm between a what? A two and a three. So what answer is between a two and a three? Right there. So I'm going to choose C. All right, so what do you have to do on this? Plot the lines correctly, right? Plot the lines correctly, and then find your solution. And that's all you got to do, all right? So if you have guys have a question, I'll help you guys find the y-intercept, and I'll even, I'll even plot it right here if you guys want. Anybody have any questions in my class? No questions? None whatsoever? All right, well, nobody has any questions. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to keep solving. All right, so here we go. Let's find our systems of equations with graphing. If anybody has any questions, just pause me and I will show you what to do. All right, we have two equations right here. We've got the blue equation. All right, we've got the red equation. All right, so the blue equation, it says negative 7x minus 2y equals 14. The red equation says 6x plus 6y equals 18. Now, if you don't like writing a whole bunch of stuff down and you just want to do it really, really, really quick, I'll show you another, another way you can do it without having to use a formula. Okay? X-intercept, Y-intercept. You still need to write down your ordered pairs, though. It's important to write stuff down. Okay? So here's what I do. Ready? I cover up one and I solve for the others. Here we go. Right now, I cover it up. What's 14 divided by negative 7? 14 divided by negative 7 is negative 2. So I know my x-intercept is negative 2, 0. Cover that up. What do you see? For negative 2y equals 14. Divide both sides by negative 2. You get negative 7. So I know my y-intercept's at 0, negative 7. So I cover up one and I solve for the other. Cover that up. What's 18 divided by 6? 3. So I know my x-intercept's at 3, 0. Cover this up. 18 divided by 6 is 3, so I know that's, that's got to be at 0, 3. Just find the what? X-intercept, Y-intercept, plot them, and you are done. So that's all I'm going to do now. Negative 2, 0. Put it right there. All right. Uh, 0, negative 7. Put it right there. Uh, 3, 0, 0, 3. Okay. 3, 0, 0, 3. 3, 0, 0, 3. 3, 0, 0, 3. All right, there we go. Got everything graphed perfectly the way I want to. I find my ordered pair where they cross. That's at a what? Negative 4 and a 7. So I'm going to type in a what? Negative 4 and a 7. Nailed it. All right, I'm going to ask my class once again. Anybody have any questions? Want me to do their problem? I'll do their problem right now before their eyes. No? Nobody wants it? Okay. All right, so... This will be the last one that I do because I'm, I'm tired of doing these. And get, it just kind of gets boring if you keep doing them over and over and you get them right. And nobody wants your help. But that's okay. Maybe somebody out there is watching in the void and I'm helping them. All right, so here we go. 2x plus 3y equals 6. Negative 4x plus 3y equals 12. All right, so once again, I'm doing the old cover-up method. I'm going to find my x-intercept. I'm going to find my y-intercept. So I just cover it up. What's 6 divided by 2? 3. Boom. 3, 0. That's my x-intercept. All right. Um, 6 divided by 3? 2. Boom. 0, 2. There's my y-intercept. All right, cover this one up. Oh, oh, sorry. 12 divided by negative 4? Boom, negative 3. So my x-intercept is at negative 3, 0. Cover it up. Divide both sides by 3. 12 divided by 3 is? Boom. That's your y-intercept. So it's at 0, 4. So I got 3, 0, 0, 2, negative 3, 0, 0, 4. Plot those babies. And that's all I got to do. And then I got to figure out which one of these it matches. So here we go. 3, 0, 0, 2. 3, 0, 0, 2. 3, 0, 0, 2. 3, 0. Zero, two. Three, zero. 0, 2. Ding. Next one. Negative 3, 0. 0, 4. Negative 3, 0. Negative 3, 0. And 0, 
four, ding. This one looks awfully familiar almost. Let's take a look. Where do they cross? Where do they cross? They cross right there. Looks like they're at a... This looks so stinking familiar. It's almost like we've done it. I was to negative one and up at a what? Two and two thirds. I like this answer. All right. So I'm going to choose A. All right. And this was easy because it's slope-intercept form. I'm not going to write down how to do it. I'm just going to do it real quick. There's my y-intercept. It's at a 3. My slope is 2. Got to go up 2 over 1. My y-intercept's at a 3. And then I got to go down 3 and over 1. To go down 3 over 1 right there. So that's all you got to do. You got to apply your slope. Remember, I got an up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1 slope. I got a down 3 over 1, down 3 over 1 slope. And I can clearly see my solution at 0, 3. See where they cross right there? 0, 3. Nailed it. All right, hopefully that was enough examples.